<clears throat> oh, look at you, my friend. You look so pretty this morning in pink. Wait until you see what I got in my hand. Hi, how are you? Da -da 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 -da. What you doing up there? You see me? Yeah, I just found this guy on the street. <clears throat> Here, let's look at his belly. What kind of bird is this? Oh, there's his eye, my friend. How about that, huh? Where are we going to bury him at? He's not stiff yet. He's like still got some... Some, uh... Pliability there. Can't carry him around everywhere I go here. <clears throat> it's pretty cool out here this morning, my friend. Temperature's only like in the 50s. Wind's just starting to pick up about it. In between half knot, one and a half knots, give or take. <clears throat> oh, this is a cool sticker here. <clears throat> what does it say? The further society drifts from the truth, the more it hates those who speak it. That's a good, that's a good one, huh? The further a society drifts from the truth, the more it hates those who speak it. Pretty interesting stuff. <clears throat> Imagine seeing that one on Pornhub, huh? Like, holy shit. Isn't that Anita? What you up to? Oh, you finally caught up, huh? <clears throat> oh, look at the patches of satellite dishes here. Holy cow. Captain Kirk made it, I heard. I hear Captain Kirk made it, my friend. Calling for snow and rain over there in the UK. I don't know if Captain Kirk was going to visit the UK. I still got this bird in my hand. I don't know what the hell to do with it. Just walk around with a dead bird in my hand. <clears throat> Just right on the middle of the road, too. <clears throat> That's a good one, huh? Well, I've been up since about 3 o'clock this morning, my friend. Around 3 o'clock I woke up. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, you see that dead bird in my hand, huh? <clears throat> Anyways, I woke up at about 3 o'clock this morning. It kind of looks square instead of circle. Center screen. Okay. It's been a while since I've been down this road. I got a transformer humming. I think it's this transformer. Pole numbers. I'm pretty sure it's this. It's up there. The sound's still up there pretty. Yeah, I get it pretty good right here. Transcript it. Got it, my friend. Good. <clears throat> Continuing on, we got Trumpers here. <clears throat> good old Trumpers. Yeah, it's singing, it's singing. Oh, the lavender's here, my friend. It's a blue lavender. Grab it under my armpits. It can smell a little better. <clears throat> but anyways. <clears throat> Alright, hold on for a second, bird. Hold on for a second. I was doing some reading this morning whenever I first woke up. There's still apparently no communications down in North Carolina. 
hear people are bitching about um, they can't get any funding or something like that from Federal Emergency Management Association. And then I hear they blocked out um, telecommunications. What are you guys doing up there? I see you. You too. What are you up to? You look grimacing. Looks like nobody bought you a Happy Meal at McDonald's. <clears throat> you know, they come out with adult Happy Meals at McDonald's now. You get a McDonald's as an adult. See, I want an adult Happy Meal. Give you a gift voucher for Pornhub. <clears throat> so that's a good one, huh? Just the porn hub. There's so many engines out there and websites. How the hell can you clean that shit all up? <clears throat> you run a scan on that thing, that thing starts screwing your scanner. <clears throat> Is there an application for porn hub, by the way? Can I get an application on my phone, my friend? A porn hub application? Like one of those Tinder things or whatever it is, you just get a quick install right to the hub. What do you think that application would be like? And if I can't, what is going on whenever I click on that engine, that website? What's it doing to the rest of my applications? <clears throat> oh boy. <clears throat> but anyways, I hear they can't get any telecommunications or Pornhub down in North Carolina. Yeah, they're, they're stuck from getting on the hub. <clears throat> and I hear FEMA is uh, bogarting, per se. Just bogarting. It's a pretty nice morning. I see all the nice dew on the grass, my friend. Getting ready for dielectric discharge. <clears throat> Nice and fresh grass, nice and wet. <clears throat> yeah, I know I said I was going to continue on what I was talking about last night. <clears throat> we'll get there. I'll get there. What's all this? What are you? Oh boy, you're all wet and dewy this morning, huh? You see the color of the grass? I see you again here, my friend. How are you? How's your morning coming from the north? <clears throat> Blackbirds on their way to go pillage some berries. Good for you. It's that time of the year. Pretty soon the trees are going to be all different colors. Oh, I got caught up about right here. Oh, let's see here. Roughly about oh, a good six, seven feet ahead of me here. That whistle come right back. It was, uh, oh yeah, I seen a good video yesterday, my friend. I seen a good one. It had to do with, um, special rooms that are built one for for dampening acoustics like immediately it'll dampen the sound and there's no reflections and then a room specifically built for reflections of decibel pressure <laughs> like you, you can't even go in the room because it'll blow your eardrums out just by blowing a whistle <clears throat> 140 decibels like i don't know what the maths are but it's um that creates a, a hell of a modulation and is built for refle electrical reflections. And it's quite uh, it's quite the uh, the view, if you check this out. And the room that they built for dampening, it's like um, a very specific design. And I guess it stops all, all perturbation from reflections. Very reflective. <clears throat> like all these big rooms these guys built for like 
um, let's just say, uh, to get business done. Oh, good morning to ya. How are you? You look good. I hear there's a disease going around the deer. It hit the dogs and cats. Now it's in the deer. Your shit looks fucking terrible if this is a deer shit. Is this deer or coyote or fox? That doesn't look like deer poop, does it? Here, have some chocolate, my friend. Look at the... You look swell this morning. Yes, you do. You got a big nose. It's kind of flat, too. Uh -uh. He had a deer got disease out here. Some kind of another mystery. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. There's our walking path. Absolutely gorgeous. My man, I'm setting you down. <clears throat> Set you down for a second. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Oh, yes. Absolutely gorgeous. The phone's all screwed up. Pinkish orange. Who's up? Oh, will you quit snapping at me? Look at all this heat. There you go. Oh, don't photobomb me, birds. Birds are starting to wake up a little bit. Holy smokes. Let's see if we can get the accurate color here. Oh boy, is that freaking gas just freaking discharging up here. Absolutely gorgeous. It's been a while since I got up at the top of the hill, huh? <sighs> So, who the hell are you? Oh, beak snapped. Is that a sparrow or is that something different? Your eyeballs are wide open, dude. What the hell did you see before you fucking left this place, huh? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Let's uh, hey, 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 uh, son, how about we uh, push away the disease of this place for the deer, huh? <clears throat> Trees look nice, you're getting ready to, all the leaves are getting ready to fall off, and we got a lot of measurements to take. What the hell happened to you when you were growing? Look at all the space in between you. Why aren't you full and bushy? What's going on with you? <clears throat> oh boy, there's a stack of transformers over there. There's another one. Got a lot of work to do. Here comes the sun, though. I'll set you down again. Had a cup of coffee this morning. Almost drank a whole pot. Well, yeah, there, there's um, no telecommunications I hear. What else did I see? Oh, some, some, uh, some more stuff about climate, climate engineering. I, I seen some, um, some good weather uh, forecasts. Captain Kirk's on the way. There's a bunch of bullshit going on down in North Carolina. They say. I heard another report too that um. BlackRock or something like that signed a contract for like $80 million in North Carolina for lithium refining or some, something similar to that nature. What are you doing up there? Oh, look at the nanometer shifting on the phone here. I don't know if it's going to show up like that on a video. We're igniting. That's what we're looking for. The CCD to show up here. <clears throat> Look 
at how the trees just perfectly formed a little gullet there for this to come up over. Isn't that interesting how the electrical signals tell a story, my friend? Absolutely wonderful. So what tree is that? I'm trying not to look here because that CCD might get in my way. Energized to a sunrise, my friend. Get your electrons. Collect some electrons and store them. <clears throat> but anyways, back to Black Rock. The, uh, one of the asset managers, probably the Vanguard was involved. <clears throat> Stage Street 2. Signed a contract for lithium. And apparently lithium is all over wastewater as of right now from all the Marsalis shale drilling. Are they drilling down here in North Carolina? What's going on? There's some folks up here from North Carolina that may be listening. Good morning, y'all. How are y'all? <clears throat> but yeah, they signed this contract right before Miss Helena come through. Helena? Helen? What, what do they call it? Whatever it was. And uh, that's what the word is on the street. I got to do a little more investigation. But there's a lot of that stuff here in Pennsylvania. Anyone want to come up here and check out some wastewater? He finally made it over the hill. And he's orange as hell. It's not the accurate, it's not the accurate picture on the phone. There's no white in that sun at all. Birds sound happy. The sun's coming up. He made it up over the mountain here, bird. Come on, let's go up. Let's go visit Grandma real fast, see what she's up to. <clears throat> Good morning! <clears throat> Wonder what the kids been up to. What is this? What are you doing up here? You said you could put your little growth tips in here and fruit up. These are good mushrooms. Take these home and eat them. Yeah, these are white mushrooms from you buying a stamp store. They smell good too. Leave them here for dear Anna. She'll find them. If she doesn't have a disease. You know, look at the wall. Got some color action. The sun's orange, but that's like a pink. Pinky orange. Pinky orange. See my reflection, my friend? Does it look pretty? Turning the black into the gray, huh? Looks like I got a bluish tint on the phone. Oh, we just had a nanometer shift. That's why the phone keeps changing. The animator just shift. We had a little intensity, a little more uh, the magnetic field got here. Electric field start intense, intensify. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got some mill drift all over the wood, my friend. What the hell's going on? Oh, who are you? Look at the alien on there, huh? I see you. You look like one of those lizard people. You a lizard person? You know, you know, it's really funny, my friend. I catch a lot of flack whenever I say lizard people. <laughs> there was a video that come up over my desk yesterday talking about lizard people. <clears throat> it was on a title screen. And then I make humorous jokes all the time. And I catch a lot of flack for these lizard people. This word, lizard people. What the hell's going on? Do you catch flack from lizard people? Miss Beach Tree, 
Oh, listen to you. You sound lovely in here. Too bad my my hands over the microphone coil. I hear that reflection. <clears throat> Wonder how these guys are sleeping down here in the holes. <clears throat> you know, I couldn't find their smart meter. There must be a bank of smart meters inside of that place. We figure there's at least 12, 12 dwellings for per per tent there. So that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of meter. <clears throat> Wonder if utilities are included or not. Oh, I got another can here, my friend. I'm gonna have to go take a take a gander. Cause all are welcome, they say. All are welcome. Lizard people. Oh, shut your mouth! And I'm not talking to you, Bert. I'm talking to the lizard person trying to trying to telepathically stick his eyeball in your asshole. <clears throat> they can't figure out the assholes uh, for shit. Oh, look at how look at this. We have some dielectric discharge modalitizing, my friend. Oh, gorgeous morning here. Very humid. I don't know how I'd work out in the desert. I don't know how I'd work out in a desert. Oh, listen to this electrical reflection here. Oh, baby, baby. And what's this event? I got to move my hand away from this coil so you can get an accurate depiction here, transcriptor. Yeah, I don't even have to really talk too loud, but you can study these uh, this vector sheet off and see that this is, could be causing a little bit of a hall effect. And the rate of induction on its return is at a higher rate of induction on the reflection property here than it is on the supply. The output power rates of induction are a little bit higher. Here's the ceiling too. Interesting acoustic properties. <clears throat> Well, they cut down one of the trees here, my friend. One of the trees got cut down. It was just sitting in the middle of the yard. Well, grand, Grandma must... Let me eat the Grandma's cookies. <laughs> they must have been... Uh, had a little bit of high-grade fructose corn syrup in it. Just a little too much for the roots. <clears throat> isn't, that a, isn't that a great picture? Like for all you guys that know a little something about something, you see the way Grandma standing there holding her hands with that little arch in front of her. Isn't that just a great picture? Especially her little stand she's on with her little pyramid pyre. That's a pyramid, huh? We call that a pyramid. Marble pyramid. <clears throat> she's the point. Just beaming up the energy there. <clears throat> Just cross. Oh, here's the after. My friend, you're up here. Here's the after effect. It's a nice picture here. Should save a capture. Beautiful picture. Look at the reflections. Isn't it nice? The intensity of the magnetic field as it starts to meet the the dielectric pressure of the cold air. The unique effects take place that he could only find for Mr. Faraday, Mr. Maxwell, Mr. Steinmetz, Mr. Heaviside, Mr. Tesla, Mr. Dollard, Mr. Sornoff. I don't think Mr. Sornoff knows the goddamn thing about this. He might. He might. I'm going to have to go go do some research. Who else? Yeah, that's a good picture, huh? Yeah, that's a good one. Turn, turn her up. Oh, somebody just hit me with a nice little acoustic pressure. Pick that up, microphone coil. Cool. 
Here, get in a picture, bird. Yeah, give me a flicker rate. <clears throat> Wonder where the hawks are at. Gotta wake their asses up up there out the graveyard. Wonder about a little fire pit still up there if anyone's been burning lately. Having problems keeping fires up there. <clears throat> well, there's no